because I thought this would be like an interesting political issue uh, that we could potentially speak about. We tried to rob a delivery robot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor delivery robot. I don't know what city this is. Northern California. <laughs> Probably Silicon Valley. Um, DoorDash is now manufacturing robots that can, you know, basically replace their drivers and, and uh, their drivers and their delivery people, which is um, like I see that and I think that that's terrifying. I'm not terrified by that. It's like how machines replaced a lot of coal mining. Coal mining was a terrible job. I think in some ways a door be having to do that delivery stuff is a terrible economic position. Sure. We should hopefully have space yeah. and economy for better jobs. Sure. Automation is progressing at a rate that is likely to put millions of Americans out of work in the coming years. Most estimates say over 30 million people people are at risk of losing their jobs in the coming years. So people always say like, okay, like uh, jukebox technicians, right? This was a big like portion of society that just mm -hmm. became like irrelevant overnight. And it was great because they were able to like, you know, use those skills and transfer them to another industry. And the problem here is that number one, jukebox technicians were a very small subset of the society. Um, and now we're gonna deal with like delivery jobs going away, warehouse jobs, going away truck driving jobs elon musk has invented a truck mm -hmm. that is electric and it's magic and you say go and it'll go <laughs> right and this is one of the few times where i think i actually disagree automation could be a disaster if it's not handled correctly but if it creates economic space and americans can keep innovating and creating new jobs that didn't exist before then it would be amazing and if we don't and we have a bunch of unemployed people then it's a huge problem right do so what you're kind of saying would be like even like the change from hunter gatherer to farmer right that was so also once, a big change so like once you start farming you all of a sudden have a food surplus so not everybody has to work to feed exactly. themselves you can think about then you can do yeah. things like invent writing you can have art you can have writing you can, art, you can make, do all this yeah. stuff you can make tools science so yeah. it'll have to reset where we are now where someone's value is determined solely by like their job we need to let that part go that needs to go right the whole well you know if you're not producing for society then you're not you don't deserve anything like that i mean that, that needs to labor, go all the way uh, already value. But, like people like i yeah. worked hard is that's not right. what makes a person important so like at a certain point a lot of these jobs that are like backbone jobs are going to be robots and i think we're, we're just going to have to deal with that as a society and part of that might be Things like universal basic income. Yeah. And, and, human things like that. and the human level, it's always has a relief. Nothing wrong with finding ways to do dangerous jobs um, more safely. Or it's, or it's, or it's grueling like, jobs. Yeah. Like a like a, a truck drop, like, a tr like an electronic truck. Like once the tech is good enough that it can really do it, mm -hmm. then it's way safer. Somebody like dozing off or, or making, you know, human errors, like that could be way safer. But we've got to more figure out how society is going to... Yeah to deal with the fact that a lot of people like just aren't we they don't have anything that they can yeah, do right now. exactly so we me, need to figure out this needs to be a time where americans need to figure out how to innovate a lot guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this like it let us know in the comments and if you could share it that'd be fantastic guys we just created a pdf that will help you james is going to talk about it yeah it is a pdf ebook pamphlet called the three biggest mistakes to avoid in estate planning or something along those lines and it is a primer for people that are starting to think about what they need to do uh, with regards to their own plans for the future. So go ahead and give it a read. Hopefully it's helpful. And if you have more questions, give us a call. The link to that is in the description down below. Click the first link down there and it will take you directly to that PDF where you can learn a bunch of stuff. Um, guys, also you can give us a call anytime, day or night, 404-939-7562. Uh, we would love to help you get started on creating an estate plan and planning for your legacy. Um, you can also email us info at scriberlaw.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.